Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Hadoop tutorial, today we'll see what is input format in the Hadoop MapReduce. So guys, uh, just one piece of request. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments and feedback. So guys, let's start with MapReduce input format. So guys, I'm sure you must uh, be remembering this picture this picture we discussed in detail in our previous video on uh, map reduce internals so this is where the input format is placed so it reads the input file from the hdfs and then this is the one responsible for creating the input splits based reading the what is the split size defined it will create the input split so if you see here Input format checks the input specifications of the job and then split the input file into input splits and eventually assign them to the individual mapper. So that is what in input format does in the MapReduce job. Uh, how the input files are split up and read in the Hadoop MapReduce job is defined by input format. It's the first component in the MapReduce job. It is responsible for creating the input splits and eventually sending them to record reader to divide them into records which are key value pairs. So uh, record reader is also initiated by uh, is also initiated by input format. Input format in fact defines the record reader. I'll show you the source code. It's one of the class in the input forward uh, input format class. It's one of the methods record reader to initiate. Or define the record reader uh, input format defines the data splits which define both the size of the individual map task and its potential execution servers so based on whatever the uh, size of the data splits or input splits which defines that what it would be the individual size of the uh, each mapper so this is the snippet from the source code if you see this is the input format class uh, in this class, if you see, create record reader is one of the methods, right? So we have an uh, abstract record reader, and this is the method create record reader to define the record reader on the input space. Guys, in this slide, we'll discuss what are the different input formats provided in the Hadoop world. So let's quickly go about them. Uh, the first one is the file input format. This is a base class for all file input formats. Uh, it's uh, uh, at the start of the job, you provide it with the path uh, where to read data from. And then uh, file input format will yield all the files and divide these files into one or more input splits. So this is the base class where the APIs are defined that how to create the input split. So in the, in the, in, in the class hierarchy of input formats, file input format is the base class, the parent class. Next in the line is the text input format. This is the default uh, input format. Here what happens if you have any text file in which say you have a uh, different line of text. So these different line of text would be converted into, uh, into the key value pairs where the keys are the offset or the positions of the rows and the value of the text of the row is the value. So this is how this input format uh, creates the key value pair out of them. Uh, this is uh, useful for unformatted or line based records, right? Uh, and this is the default uh, input format in the Hadoop world. Next is the key value uh, text input format. It is similar to text input format what we have discussed, except for the fact here, in fact, for in, in spite of the line offset or position number, it will uh, break the line on the tab value. Wherever you have slash t slash tab, uh, it will break that line and the first part would be the key and the second part would be the value. So that is key value text format. Sequence file input format is very important because sequence file format is one of the initial file formats supported in the Hadoop. Uh, these files are binary files uh, and these can provide you block compression and provide direct serialization and deserialization. Here, uh, 
it stores the uh, sequence of binary key value pairs. Uh, so this particular format can directly absorb and read the sequence files. Uh, next is the sequence file as text input format. So it is same as the sequence file input format except for the fact here the binary values of key and value are created into text by calling the two string method on the values it will convert both the keys and the values values into the text objects sequence file as binary input format uh, yes so this is also similar to the sequence file format here we can extract the sequence file keys and values as an opaque binary object so here the underlying uh, construct of how the key value pairs would be stored would be the uh, would be as the opaque or as simple pure binary objects uh, n line input format that's an important one just uh, understand it carefully it is same as the input text input format uh, except for the fact that there each line will make one key value pair but if you want to redefine the system such that we want to send two lines to each mapper right then we can change the value of n is equal to 2 and we can use n line input format so here two lines together will make one key value pair which will go as an input to the mapper so that's the whole difference between n line input format and text input format which is the default uh, a very important one in the series is the DB input format is the input format that reads data from a relational database using JDBC uh, as it does not have portioning or partitioning capabilities so we need to be careful not to spam the database from which we are reading too many mappers so primarily it is best for loading relatively small data sets perhaps for joining with large data sets from HDFS using multiple inputs so that's the whole point that in a situation where you have some kind of seed data available in the database we can use db input format so guys these are some of the input formats defined in the hadoop world uh, let's quickly conclude about the input formats input formats define how to split and read input files and eventually it will create input splits uh, input format defines record readers uh, also, one can use different type of input uh, formats provided in the Hadoop MapReduce world for different purposes. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.